Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Uh, today I have my Arteza gouache uh, paints with me uh, and you will see that I will be art journaling with them. Uh, first I want to show them to you again. I think I showed them uh, once more but uh, I didn't give enough uh, love and attention to them. Uh, they are very beautiful, 60 colors. There, I mean there is no color that you won't find. And this is my fancy watercolor palette now that will help me to use them more. Uh, it's a tin, uh, tin container like this. It has a lot of space for you to play with colors, mix and match them. And I already put my uh, gouache colors inside this tin and they look so yummy. <coughs> this tin has uh, 48 colors and the set is 60 colors so I put my uh, favorite colors uh, that I thought I was going to use the most and now it will be much easier for me uh, to use the colors uh, keeping them by my side I also started another uh, art journal uh, this is from Arteza it's watercolor paper and it's uh, very thick it takes a lot of medium and I've been using it for some trials and I did one art journal page and like I was uh, stamping and coloring and doing various things but I decided why not use it for my art journals uh, it's a bit big, bigger than what I usually journal on, but uh, I'm going to experiment in it. And this is a beautiful rice paper that my friend sent me. Uh, so thanks to her a lot. And uh, I have a, a big pleasure when I'm using my uh, the things that my uh, friend sent me. That it brings me warmth and good memories. Um, and uh, I'm going to rip uh, some parts off to use in my uh, art journal and start uh, a page. And while I'm sticking these down, I, I can also tell you uh, all the Arteza products are linked below at the description box. Don't forget to open the three dots and you will have a longer list, a more wider window. Uh, and you will see all the products I'm using there. Uh, and if you want a discount, uh, I have a discount code as well that will give you uh, a better price. So uh, use it for all products. It's not only for the products I'm using. It's for all the Arteza products. So take advantage of it if you want to do some shopping. Uh, I'm using my matte medium to, uh, to glue down my rice paper. And I'm going to glue it uh, on the opposite corners uh, to have uh, the middle empty. Uh, you know I can't easily leave white space but I'm going to try hard this time. And to have more interest I'm going to do some stenciling. This is a Tim Holtz stencil and uh, I'm using my crackle paste from Golden. Uh, just to go over the stencil and, and have some uh, shapes uh, that are going to be crackled afterwards. So I'm applying it uh, all over my page uh, and uh, some of it over my uh, rice, uh, rice paper as well. This way I'm also integrating the papers into the page so uh, you don't see the edges. Um, it's a good way to hide them uh, under some uh, design. Uh, and uh, I hope the crackles will come out and uh, I will be able to give some a uh, nice color. I will also uh, use some of it on the page too to give some interest uh, going on at the back and have a uh, more cohesiveness all around having some crackles uh, in the middle too. So this is how it looks when it dried. It crackled a little bit. Because it's not a thick layer, the crackles are small, but they are there. Uh, and you will see uh, more clearly when I add color. So I'm taking my gouache uh, colors. Honestly, they look so beautiful. I also posted a picture of this uh, over Instagram. Uh, and uh, they look uh, really yummy. Uh, and the colors are truly beautiful. Uh, so let's see how it will look. I am also taking my uh, watercolor brush and my Kleenex. Uh, to help me uh, uh, clean my brush uh, it's uh, I always use Kleenex on my uh, table when I am crafting actually because it's so much more absorbent and cleans your brushes uh, in between colors uh, better than kitchen towel for sure especially when using watercolors 
I'm going to uh, spray a little bit water, uh, actually a generous amount, on my brush paints to activate them. Uh, you can just store them like this. They will dry and you know uh, they will be solid. But when you spray water on them, they will activate again and you can use them. Uh, it's the beauty with uh, gouaches and watercolors. Uh, you can just they can be just uh, out in the air and uh, nothing will happen as opposed to acrylic paints. And I I love the colors here. Uh, they are so beautiful. Um, there are beautiful pastels, earthy colors, uh, brights. Uh, I think Arteza selects their colors really well. Um, and uh, even uh, I use 48 colors of the collection and uh, I really love it. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering and uh, don't know what gouache paints are, uh, shortly they are, I think, a, a, a transition between acrylic paints and watercolors because they work like watercolors uh, and they are sort of watercolors but they are opaque uh, so they give much more coverage uh, and um, it's close to the acrylic paints uh, but uh, as a as a medium they are like watercolors they are not uh, permanent uh, or they don't turn into plastic when you paint and uh, you cannot get it off they will activate with water uh, so I think they are a really nice sweet spot if you like acrylics and uh, also uh, watercolors uh, and uh, I think I will be using them more and more because um, uh, I enjoy uh, using them uh, but they were in the tubes uh, far away somewhere in the storage but uh, with this tin uh, I am able to have it really close by in my stash so I'm looking forward to exploring them more. And while I'm talking, I did lots of uh, painting. I'm using a, like a um, pale green, mint green, uh, and uh, I'm uh, some taupe, like earthy colors, little bit uh, dark green, not too much, uh, and uh, some Bordeaux wine color, uh, burnt sienna, little bit uh, brown. Uh, so I'm just uh, looking at the colors and my rice paper and decide which goes uh, with the paper that I have to just uh, integrate it and uh, complete the picture uh, and uh, I'm just playing with it literally uh, enjoying my time uh, spraying some water in between to activate them or move them and of course you don't have to use gouache for this page you can use your regular watercolors inks, uh, whatever sprays uh, or acrylics, uh, whatever you have. You can also water down your acrylics. They will become more transparent. Um, and uh, But don't forget to move them quickly because they dry fast. Uh, so you have a little window uh, from the moment you, you put them on the page. Uh, but uh, it doesn't matter with uh, dye inks or watercolors or gouache paints. Um, and they are easier to manage in that sense uh, and uh, as you see I am going to apply a little bit darker uh, colors uh, on the edges so I am going for dark browns to create some border uh, which will help uh, bring the, the rice paper to the front as well While I'm doing my finishing touches for the coloring, I can also tell you I have an Instagram page. Uh, you can see the name there on the screen and uh, please uh, join me there as well uh, because I'm sharing uh, many short videos and uh, sneak peeks, uh, my projects that I haven't uh, published in YouTube yet uh, and flip throughs of my mini journals, many more. Uh, so if you have an account, uh, I'd love to see you there. Also, if you have projects that are inspired by my videos, please don't forget to tag me uh, so that I can comment or share. Um, while I'm talking, I continued the uh, water sprays and uh, I'm dabbing off the color a little bit from my um, from the paste uh, texture so it becomes more visible. Uh, 
these are the butterflies that I took from the same uh, rice uh, paper and I'm going to stick them on a regular uh, paper uh, to make them focal points uh, this is a great way to use your rice papers as well uh, last week I did the same on a for, for a napkin uh, I glued my napkin on a paper you can use cardstock or uh, regular print paper depends on um, the thickness that you want uh, here I use the regular paper and uh, I, I just fussy cut like I would in a normal image and uh, I'm going to glue it in, in the middle uh, lifting the wings a little bit so that there is a bit of dimension and I'm going to glue the other two uh, butterflies on the other page I'm going to use my uh, Arteza uh, paint in white uh, this is heavy body uh, one uh, to go uh, around the middle a little bit uh, uh, with my finger so that it becomes even whiter uh, remember there were some drips and stuff I don't want to lose them but uh, I want to brighten the middle a little bit uh, especially on the edges uh, of the texture paste I took my butterfly for a moment to work on these areas too but I'm going to uh, put it back, glue it back and uh, it will stay there uh, to finish it off uh, I'm going to do some splashes first with white uh, and then a little bit with this uh, wine color Bordeaux color uh, which will be uh, I think nice uh, in the white areas and I thought it would be nice to give some uh, sparkle to the butterfly so I'm using my Kaiser Craft uh, sparklets uh, I love these I bought them very long ago years ago uh, and I bought uh, many colors of these uh, because I thought these were looking more premium than other spark sparkly uh, dots let's say um, and I'm really happy with them uh, they, they have many uh, sets uh, blue green in colors uh, blue green red and uh, this is I think uh, some kind of coral color um, and I just uh, selected a few uh, colors different colors to stick in the middle of my butterflies for my sentiment I'm going to be really subtle so I'm using my uh, chipboard uh, sentiments from Tim Holtz uh, a little one and I went over the edges with uh, aged mahogany uh, again a Bordeaux color um, to make it aligned with the rest of the page uh, so I'm finished uh, I hope you liked it uh, I I'm going to show some close-ups here on screen and you can see the pictures at the end of the video I really like this uh, subtle page uh, with the rice paper and uh, a lot of white space uh, that I managed to leave uh, in the end I hope you enjoyed your time and got inspired uh, if you did please don't forget to uh, hit the like button leave a comment or subscribe to my channel that's how I know you enjoy your time here uh, and again don't forget to say hi over Instagram too take care be safe and see you next time